As the United States and China see their ties fall apart, Apple interestingly is turning geopolitics onto its side and in the latest attempt to try and woo India, the chief executive officer met with the Indian Prime Minister. Tim Cook sat down with Narendra Modi in the national capital and is committed to investing across the country. The two also exchanged thank you notes on Twitter. Tim Cook wrote, and I quote him here, Thank you, Prime Minister, for the warm welcome. We share your vision of the positive impact technology can make on India's future, from education and developers to manufacturing and the environment. We are committed to growing and investing across the country. Responding to that, the Indian Prime Minister said, An absolute delight to meet you. Glad to exchange views on diverse topics and highlight the tech power transformations that are taking place in India. Now, all of this, of course, is happening in the context of Apple opening its first official store in Mumbai, India's financial capital from retail to manufacturing. It's becoming evident that Apple is now seriously looking at India as a big market opportunity. Located in the Bandra Kurla complex area, the store is the first of the two outlets that Apple is launching in India. Apple is betting big on India since it began its iPhone assembly in the country back in 2017. The country is now planning to further boost the iPhone production in the country, especially as the company has accelerated plans to shift some of its iPhone production line outside of China. Now, Apple is said to have got significantly increased its production of iPhones in India, and according to a report, the company now accounts for almost about 7% of its total iPhone production, and this is up from just 1% in 2021. <laughs> Which effectively means that in the last fiscal year, the company assembled iPhones worth more than $7 billion in India. For context, the growing friction between the United States and China is having repercussions around the world. American companies that have for long been dependent on China for their manufacturing needs are now feeling the heat. Governments in North America and Europe are increasingly becoming suspicious of China, especially on issues of data and privacy. And this is forcing US-based tech giants like Apple to hedge their bets. Now, analysts believe that Apple could, of course, make 25% of the iPhones in India by 2025. Some Apple products are already assembled in India by the Taiwanese manufacturers Foxconn and Vistron. Add to that its plans to assemble iPads and AirPods in India, and it's pretty clear that India is increasingly becoming a key element in Apple's plans for the future.